Hello everybody, welcome to another digital image processing tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to do an image denoising using principal command and analysis or PCA. This is the final result. Image on the left is the original face image. Image in the middle is the noise image. And we will apply the principal component analysis to remove the noise by reducing the number of features and recreate the face image using the last number of features which is shown by this image on the right here. This Jupyter notebook file I already uploaded into my GitHub repository. The link is available in the video description. You can visit that link to download this Jupyter notebook file. Okay, now I will show you how to do the image generation using PCA. Okay, let us first import the libraries. Here I add a comment to each library to explain the function of each library in this tutorial. Now I will explain to you about the dataset. The image that I'm using in this tutorial is only 50 faces from the scikit-learn dataset. To use this dataset, first you need to download the dataset by typing fats underscore only 50 underscore faces. So here I store the image in the face variable. Next we can check the type of data and check the keys in the dataset. So here there are four keys, which is data, image, target, and description. You can print the face dot description to read the description about the dataset. I think the important in this description dataset is about the dataset characteristic. There is a classes, samples, total, dimensionality, and the feature. So here there are 400 samples in this dataset, and each data has uh, 4,000 features and the value in its feature is a real number between 0 and 1. So the class 40 here means that the face image in this data set is from 40 different people. Okay, if you read down here, its image size is 64 by 64. If we multiply 64 by 64, it will we will get this 4069 uh, pixel. Let us now preview the image using the matplotlib. Preview the image, you can use the image keys or the data keys. If we check the data shape here, the face.image is already in two-dimensional matrix, 64 by 64. We can directly preview the image from this image key. And if we want to preview the image from face.data keys, we need to reshape the data using the numpy reshape into 64 by 64. And then we will be able to preview the image. Now I will add a Gaussian noise into this image. I save this noise image as faces noise variable. Let us preview the original and noise image. Okay, good. Now we are ready to the next step. The next step, we will apply a PCA into this noise image to reduce the noise. To perform image denoising using PCA, first we create a PCA object using the PCA function from scikit-learn. Here I set the number component equal to 50. Next, we feed the data in, and then we apply the PCA.transform. Now if we check the PCA phase variable, we have 400 sample where each sample now has 50 feature, where originally we had a 4000 feature. Using this 50 feature, we will estimate the phase image. To do that, we use the inverse transform method. Now if you check the shape, it is the same as the original data set. Let us preview the result now. As you can see, the image on the left is the original image without any noise. Image in the middle is the image with Gaussian noise. The image on the right is the estimate face image from the noise image where we estimate using the PCA. And if you want to check the other image, we can run this cell here. This will generate a random number using NumPy random and will plot a random image from the data set. Okay, let's check the other image. Okay, great. As we can see, we can use PCA to remove a noise from the noise image. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial video.